Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen from VanVeenBulbs.com. And in this section, we're going to talk about how to plant bulbs for spring. Well, it's fall. We're at the Fall Home and Garden Show. And this is a great time to buy your bulbs to bloom in the spring. So the materials that you will need are spring blooming bulbs. Here's some tulips, a crocus or croci, hyacinth, some bearded iris that are tubers, some daffodil bulbs, and here's some little scilla siberica bulbs, tiny little scillas. Okay. You'll also need a container or the ground or a garden spot to plant them in, and some good potting soil or compost to grow them in. So the first step is to select the plants that you want to grow. And you always want to plant more than one. You don't want to put your plants in timeout. So you want to do at least three in a triangle or five or seven in a star. And then that way they'll look really good the first year. So the first step is always selecting the most beautiful bulbs that you can find. You want them to be firm. You don't want any mold on them. Although if they do have a little bit of mold on them, they're probably just fine. Never throw bulbs out. The next step is to fill your container about halfway with some potting soil or compost. And the next step is always plant your bulbs in a group, at least three in a triangle or more, because you don't want one by itself. So I put three in a triangle. Next step is cover them up about three inches. A lot of books will tell you six, seven, eight inches deep, but I have found most spring blooming bulbs rot out real easily if they're too deep. So the trick is only three or four inches deep. You don't want to smother them. And then that way they'll get hot enough and come up and bloom in the spring. So a lot of times they don't bloom or they don't do really well if you plant them too deep. Next step, once you've covered them up about three inches, whether it's in the garden or in a container, you ought to want to water them in. And you don't want to use a lot of pressure, so use like a mist on them so that the dirt doesn't come right up and then you lose your bulbs in there. So the next step, if it's in the garden, leave them be. If they're in a container, I try to keep the containers on the dry side over the winter. So put them under the eaves or even in the garage so they don't get soaking wet and then they freeze if it gets really, really cold out. And then you can lose them sometimes. So always protect your bulbs by keeping them on the dry side in the winter. And just let them bloom in the spring. As soon as they turn brown, chop them down and mix and match your spring bulbs with your summer bulbs. Mix them with some lilies and calla lilies and things that bloom in the summer so that you can have a succession of color and you can enjoy them year round.